It's been a long week and therefore I'm feeling idle. So I've come to Ide Hill Football Club. Beware the Ides of March and welcome to Around the Ground. Good afternoon everyone and welcome to Around the Ground. I really must stop these intros. Um, I'm at Ide Hill Football Club for their Kent League match against um, Borden Village. Um, both teams going really well at the moment. There they both are warming up there. It's 3G surface. Um, so yeah, hopeful for a good game today. Um, you can potentially get in but that gate was locked. So I actually had to come in through the school itself. Which was um, a really interesting experience where goals go to die but when you come into the school the buildings there's like a food hub and a sports center and they all and the main building itself they all have words written on the outside uh, like togetherness um, learning nurture things like that and i just really liked it i just thought it's short and sharp and things that the kids can relate to and i just thought it's really unusual i've been don't go to a lot of schools these days, but uh, there you go. Um, so I came to Borough Lane or Green and Rotham Station um, and got off the train and there was a co-op there in a very unusual position. I thought I'd been here before and then spent the next 10 minutes trying to work out why I'd come there, only for it to suddenly to come to me in a flash that it was Potter's Football Club, where I think I was last season if, and literally two minutes after I thought, I think it was Potter's, I actually walked past the entrance to Potter's Football Club. So if you haven't watched that video, it's literally over the road from here. So do give it a watch. We're going into the area here. And um, three or four little benches here. This is the only area that you can actually get inside. I'm not going to be able to walk all the way around today. Just on that far end, or near end rather, on this side here. And I'll film somewhere from here um so it's actually the school's football ground 3g does have floodlights as you can probably see ahead of me um other than that it's just a simple cage but it's really easy it's 10 minute walk from the station um so you know if you fancy it if the weather's lousy and they're at home then why not come here where other goals go to die so very short walk round today but there will be match highlights after this and a few and only a few stills at the end so probably quite a short video but don't take my word for it why don't you come to Rotham School to see Ide Hill Football Club yourself I'm sure you'll have a warm welcome stay tuned for highlights of today's match and some stills at the end hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have click on like if you've hated every minute of it click on dislike but why not subscribe and then all future videos that I do will go directly to your YouTube feed once you subscribe, click on the little bell, click on the little bell, you'll wake up in the morning and there will be key words written all on the outside of your house. Thanks for watching, speak to you soon. This is Ida Hill Football Club. Not 
Full time of the final score of Ides Hill nil Borden Village two. Um, Borden Village deserved a win, although Ides Hill did come on stronger in the second half. One of the most difficult places I've ever had to film with people constantly leaping in front of you and what have you. Um, Borden Village played with an extraordinary intensity and passion. Um, occasionally it gets slightly misdirected. If they could channel that, they'd be a really good team. Thanks for watching and speak to you soon.